Hey guys, so right now I'm in Beacon. It's about a 90 minute drive outside of New York City or a short train ride as well. So I'm here today to check out this little cute little area. We are on Main Street and there's a lot of cute shops and great places to eat. I'm feeling for something a little sweet, so I'm gonna take a little walk and see what I can find. After about 20 minutes of walking and searching, I finally stumbled upon Five Pennies Creamery, which is right at the entrance of this food hall, Hudson Valley Food. And this is where I met Daniel Levine, proud owner of Five Pennies. Hello. Hi. I'm Welcome. Melissa. What's I'm, your name? Uh, my name's Dan. Welcome to my spot. Uh, we are here in Beacon, New York, and I wanted to tell you that all of the ice cream here I make myself personally in this building. Oh wow. So it's not brought from the factory, it's made by me. You can sample whatever you'd like. What would you like to sample? Um, let me see. I like coconut, so maybe I will try the toasted coconut. Let's try a little toasted okay. coconut. Isn't that cool, guys? Toasted Thank coconut. You. Mmm. Coconut is definitely one of my favorite it's flavors. One of your favorites? This is good. I make, a, I make over 120 different flavors of ice cream that I rotate in and out. Really? So if I make seven different coconuts and there's a whole bunch of different flavors. And you can come in and look at the flavors or if you want, you can stay here and order what? from here. How long have you been here? I got here uh, in May, so I'm new to the area. Oh, so you just opened the shop. I just opened it here. I had a store uh, out on Long Island for many years, and I'm happy to be in Beacon. Nice. And what made you want to open the store here? Well, it's just there's a beautiful community, uh, nice, nice people, and I think that it, it came down to the fact that a space opened up. I knew what I was doing as far as making ice cream. And I said, well, I'm 70. When everyone's time to retire, I could just start a new business. Would you like to try it um, How about pumpkin? Pumpkin? Thanks. Oh, wow. The pumpkin flavor is good in this. You can really taste it. It's pumpkin puree. Mmm. So how long have you been doing ice cream? Oh, about 15 years. What, how'd you get into it? I had someone who taught me, a friend, and I decided I could do that. And here I am, 15 years later, still making ice cream. How long does it take you to, to even produce all this ice cream? Uh, well, this is, uh, it's a process like anything else, but not difficult. Once you learn to do anything, it's not difficult. It's just learning and taking the time and getting it uh, hopefully right. So I was curious about the name of the shop and Dan told me it's based on an old movie from 1959 where one of the main characters sings to his daughter using five pennies to teach her important lessons. So what makes someone a millionaire that's very independent and everyone will make their decision? Is it a big house? Is it a fancy car? Or is it those five things? Well, in 1959, my father sang that song to me when I went to bed, just like in the movie. And in the late 1980s and early 1990s, when my children went to bed, I sang that song to them. When it came to naming the store, my son said, Dad, you have to name it after the family song, Five Pennies. So it's paying homage to my parents who are gone. And I know one day when my children have children and they're putting them to bed, they're gonna sing the same song. I love and that's it. That's why it's called the five pins. Amazing. All right, let me go and get some ice cream. Okay. So the menu on the wall shows all the current available flavors. There's also these sweet toppings you can get, but I had a little wait before I could even get my order in as customers were lining up nonstop. Olivia Hedinger discovered five pennies during her visit from Manhattan. I heard you talking about that you love this ice cream. Was yes. This, when was your first time coming to the shop? Today. It was great. Yeah. Um, we were just in the area of like, you know, on a little vacation, so to speak, for today, and they had good reviews, so we came. It was really good, and I thought I'd stop in and say it, so. Ooh, what yeah. kind of ice cream did you have? I had the cinnamon roll, and then I also had the peanut butter Oreo, and both were great. And what made you like it so much? What was so great about it? 
Okay, the peanut butter was really good because unlike its classic peanut butter ice cream that's just like vanilla with like peanut butter itself in it in a way that doesn't, it's like not right. This, like the ice cream itself was peanut butter flavored and it really worked um, with the Oreo. And then cinnamon roll, I'm sure like it's relatively ubiquitous, but I don't think I've encountered it. Right, and like most typical grocery stores or whatever. And so when I came here and I saw this as an opportunity, I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> I tried it and I was like, wait, that's great, you know? And since the line was still bustling, I decided to have a quick chat with Chloe Franklin, who has been working alongside Dan in the shop for the past couple of months. What's the experience been like so far? It's been amazing. Like, this is exactly the type of job that I would like want as a high schooler. Oh, you're right. Like, nice balancing person. school, work, sports. Okay. It's a lot, but this job makes it fun for sure. Ooh. Now, do you like ice cream? I love ice cream. What do you love about ice cream so much? I feel like it puts me in a good mood. Like, just the flavor, like, the savoriness. I don't know. It's a perfect dessert. Like, cake, cake is good, but it doesn't be ice cream. So, which is your favorite flavor from here? I think coffee chip. And why is that? I don't know. I'm, like, a big, like, coffee, like, fan. Like, I don't drink it daily, but, like, it's really good. And once I tried that flavor, that was the first flavor that I tried here, actually. And it was just so good. And... I can't get enough of it. So every time Dan has it out, I just need to get some. And now that it was finally my time to order, I took Chloe's suggestion and went with the coffee chip. So I am excited to try the coffee. It was rated as being one of the favorites by my new friend Chloe inside. So here we go. Mmm. Definitely like a frozen coffee treat in the form of an ice cream. And you see it has all the little chocolate chips in here. And it's crazy because I'm not even a chocolate eater. But this really sets it off. And he actually said that he makes a ton of different flavors and varieties of coffee. But this one just happens to be the regular one. So I definitely got to come back and check when he has the other different coffee flavors. Because if it's anything like this. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so you see I got my ice cream and it's almost done. So that is a good sign that it was very, very good. And you know, ice cream is one of my favorite desserts to eat. So I'm so glad that we were able to find a spot. Thanks to Dan and Corey for talking to us. And we'll catch you next time. Okay.